want you to know it doesn't matter if you're 5 or 50 or even older than that. The Lord is looking for you today. Amen. And He wants you to become a part of His family. In Jesus' name. Today is a, a monumental day. Amen. Today in Christendom represents a, a day that we celebrate. It's called Palm Sunday. Uh, this is the week before uh, the res celebration of the resurrection. Uh, the week leading up uh, to crucifixion, which will be this Friday, amen, is a day of uh, uh, a week. Uh, most, some refer to it as uh, uh, the, the Holy Week, but I want to let you know every day uh, that is lived unto the Lord is a holy day. And somebody say amen. 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 But something great happened on this day over 2,000 years ago. Uh, the Lord made a triumphal entry into the city of Jerusalem, and we're going to read about that in just a moment. Uh, but the sad thing about it is, it wasn't but just a few days later, after making that triumphal entry, that the same people who were crying, Hosanna, Hosanna, were also now crying, Crucify Him. Amen. Amen. So we want to make sure in our heart and in our life that if we're going to call Him Hosanna, uh, we're going to do it permanently and forever. And someone say amen. 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 If you would be so kind, I'm going to read uh, John chapter 12 and verse 13. And I apologize, Brother Jacob, I did not get you my uh, scriptures uh, uh, in time. John 12 and 13. Then I'm going to read uh, Luke chapter 19. Uh, and we're going to read on his triumphal entry. Uh, John chapter 12 and verse 13 in the New Testament says uh, uh, that he took, they took branches of palm trees uh, and went forth to meet him and cried, Hosanna, blessed is the King of Israel that cometh in the name of the Lord. Amen. They took palm, branches of palm trees and went forth uh, to meet him and cried, Hosanna, blessed is uh, Blessed is the King that cometh in the name of the Lord. And if you would be so kind, Luke chapter 19. I'm going to start reading, I believe it is in verse 29. It says, And it came to pass when he was come nigh to Bethphage and Bethany at the mount called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go ye into the village over against you, in the which at your entering ye shall find a colt tied, whereon yet never a man sat. Loose him and bring him hither. And if any man ask you, Why do you loose him? Thus shall ye say unto him, Because the Lord hath need of him. And they that were sent there, their way and they and they that were sent went their way and found even as he had said unto them and as they were loosing the colt the owners thereof said unto them why loose ye the colt and they said the Lord hath need of him and they brought uh, him to Jesus and they cast their garments upon the colt and they sat Jesus thereon and as he went they spread their clothes in the way and when he was come nigh even now at the descent of the Mount of Olives the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen, saying, Blessed be the King that cometh in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees from among the multitude said unto him, Master, rebuke thy disciples. And he answered and said unto them, I tell you that if they, these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. And when he was come near, he beheld the city and wept over it, saying, If thou hadst known, even thou, at least in this thy day, the things which belong unto thy peace, but now they are hid from thine eyes, from the days shall come up for the days shall come upon thee, that thine enemies shall cast a, a trench about thee, and compass thee round, and keep thee in on every side and shall lay thee even with the ground, and thy children within thee, and they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another, because thou knewest not the time of thy visitation. I ask you to bow your heads and close your eyes. Dear Lord Jesus, I pray today that you would get a hold of our heart.
today. I pray, Lord, that as we open up your word, I ask, God, that you touch our minds and our hearts, Lord Jesus. I do believe, God, that you are in this place today, and I do believe that it is your desire to enter into the hearts of every man, woman, boy, and girl that is here, Lord. And I pray, Jesus, that somehow, some way, if there's someone here who's not allowed you into their heart or life, that today would be the day that you may that triumphal entry into their life uh, and not to depart but Lord to remain with them uh, until the end in Jesus name let everybody say amen. Amen. amen amen if you love Jesus give him a hand clap of praise Lesson, you may be seated. As I mentioned a moment ago, today is a Palm Sunday, the day, the Sunday before of the celebration of the resurrection. And this religious holiday commemorates the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem in the days before his crucifixion. The people cried out, Hosanna! Everybody say Hosanna. 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 Blessed is the King of Israel that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna means meaning save, I pray thee, keep and preserve. Hosanna. Enough people gathered around as Jesus made His entry into the city. Enough people were there and many rejoiced with Him as this man, this teacher, this one that many of them had come to know as a healer, come right Riding in on this young colt, and they begin to glorify him, the one that comes in the name of the Lord. Yes. And we do this same thing today. We glorify Jesus. And we're here to lift up the name of Jesus. And it doesn't take a cheerleader, it doesn't take a motivational speaker. All it takes is somebody saying, Hey, let's praise the Lord. Hey, uh, it doesn't take uh, uh, me saying, hey, uh, and try and doing my best uh, for the time that I'm up here to, to push you. None of us, those of us who know the Lord, shouldn't need somebody else saying, hey, let's praise the Lord. All right. I don't want to be a part of the crowd that is praising Him on one day and later on in the week. I've got a different shout coming out of my voice. I hope and pray if you are here today praising Jesus that come Friday of this week, you're still praising Him. Hallelujah. You see, a, a lot of times people sort of flow with the crowd. So a lot of times people sort of go with the crowd. If they hear somebody booing over here, they're going to join in uh, with them. Uh, well, we're gathered here today with a crowd of people who are here to lift up the name of Jesus. Uh, amen. We're here and we believe that God has made an entrance into this place today. And we're going to glorify His name. Can somebody say amen? But when the crowd changes later on in this week, and this is a part of my notes. Uh, as a matter of fact, when you leave here today and tomorrow, you're going to be around a different crowd. Right. You're going to be around another group of people who are going to be shouting, perhaps, uh, and hollering and, and doing something different. Uh, I wonder if you will be moved with that crowd or if you're still going to be shouting Hosanna, praises to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. What if you're the only voice out there? Will you still be praising God? What if you're the only one and you're surrounded by many others who are shouting, uh, uh, hey, something different? I hope and pray you have enough of the Lord in you and that you have been touched enough by the Spirit and filled enough with the Spirit that it doesn't matter who you are around and it doesn't matter who is surrounding you and what the voice of the crowd may be saying, you are still shouting glory to God in the highest. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 That's not extra. I won't charge you for that today. But I want you to know, amen, when we leave this place, and it is easy on Sunday morning when the music is doing everything that it's supposed to be doing, and it's really easy when we're gathered around in a prayer meeting and the Spirit is moving, it's easy to shout and say praise the Lord and get moved by the Spirit. 
it. Uh, but a lot of times it's a little bit harder when we're out there at the end of the week and the voice of the crowd is totally different than the voice uh, that we hear when we're gathered here on Sunday morning or on uh, a midweek service. But I want you to know you need to have as much Holy Ghost in you on a Friday when the crowd is crying crucify Him as you do on a Sunday when they're shouting Hosanna, glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Amen. It was a common custom in many lands in the ancient Middle East to cover uh, some path uh, or the path of someone uh, uh, that was thought worthy of the highest honor with branches and leaves. And on this day, Jesus makes a, a triumphal entry and they're paying homage uh, to this Amen. teacher. This carpenter, this one who really wasn't uh, much in the eyes. He wasn't a leader. He wasn't a part of the uh, the, the temple regime. He was just a, a common man. But all of a sudden, something drew up inside of them and said, hey, we need to pay honor and respect to this man. But I want to point out to you, it was this same group of people just a few days later uh, who were no longer crying Hosanna. Now they're crying crucify Him. I want to say to you today, Solid Rock, uh, you need to be crying Hosanna every day of the week. Amen. Because you're not going to hear uh, my voice every day. You're not going to hear the voice of these anointed singers uh, every day. There's going to come a day uh, that you're going to be standing out there all by yourself. And it may even be today as you leave this place and you go home. You may be the only spirit-filled person. You may be the only Christian when you walk into your home. Uh, but I want you to know you need to be just as strong uh, when you step out of this place uh, as what you are in the middle of a red-hot world worship service. Uh, can somebody say amen? Amen. amen? amen. Don't be swayed by the crowd. Amen. Don't be swayed by the voices uh, that you hear. Uh, amen. Uh, I hope and pray that there's enough inside of me that regardless of what I'm hearing uh, in the middle of the week, uh, I'm still going to stand up and shout hallelujah to God amen. most high. I don't want to just be moved by the moment. I don't want to just be moved by what's going on right here and right now. Too many times, and that's what happened to that crowd that day. They were moved by emotions. They were swayed by what was going on at that moment. It was just an exterior thing that happened to them uh, it didn't get inside of them uh, because just a few days later and that's what ne that's what needs to happen to us uh, it needs to be more than something that happens uh, on the outside yes. Man. Something needs to get a hold of us that gets a hold of the inside of us. Amen. And we're not just a shouting on the outside. It's something that's born inside of us that will help us to stand strong. Can someone say amen? amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All of the Gospels report uh, that the people gave Jesus this honor. In Matthew, Mark, and Luke, they are reported as laying down their garments uh, and cutting branches on the street. Now John is the only Gospel to specifically mention palm branches. Uh, the palm branch was a symbol of triumph and victory. Uh, I want you to know a few days later it did not look like a triumphal entry. A few days later, this one that they had uh, cried victory for, this one that they had shouted Hosanna to, this one that was making a victorious entry was hanging on a cross. Uh -huh. 